After working her butt off to secure a wildly high net worth estimated at $1.4 billion, superstar Rihanna is said to have quite a stacked real estate portfolio. While she owns multiple properties in Los Angeles and even has spawned her native Barbados, it seems most recently Riri has splurged on a glamorous $21 million condo. While she already is called the luxury building the century in Los Angeles home since 2014, with her second baby on the way it was time to upgrade to a bigger, better residence in the same structure. This time a penthouse covering the entire 40th floor. Rihanna and her family's new spread offers over 9,000 square feet of space, jaw-dropping views and features like floor-to-ceiling walls of glass and a personal movie theater. Back in 2014, Rihanna moved on into her stunning condo located in the Century Building, a 42-story condominium skyscraper in Century City, Los Angeles, about 10 miles from downtown. Other residents who live in the stylish Robert A.M. Stern design tower have often spotted the high-profile singer coming and going from the building. And according to several sources, Rihanna has long been using this condo as her primary residence. She sought her first condo here for safety purposes after an intense break-in incident occurred at one of her former homes. At the Century, there are private elevators and what's described as three layers of anti-paparazzi security. Not to mention, the building is also famed for its 24-hour valet and 75-foot luxury pool with private cabanas. Riri's first unit was said to boast three beds and four baths and cost her $5.45 million. So comparing to the price tag of her latest purchase here, this condo was definitely much smaller. According to reports, it spanned a total of 3,500 square feet. The Century the century boasts 140 units and other reasons for a high price tag to live here include amenities like a movie theater, spa, wine storage, fitness center, four acres of landscape gardens, and more. Most recently, in April 2023, it was reported that Riri had added onto her already large property portfolio with the purchase of a sprawling penthouse in the exact same building. Only this time, it cost the billionaire a whopping $21 million. The century might be one of the most prestigious and pricey residential buildings in all of LA, but we know Rihanna can afford it. Considering she not only has a new baby, but also another on the way, it would seem that she and her partner ASAP Rocky needed a larger space for the growing brood. Riri's new condo is one of the largest in all of the building. It's a massive penthouse covering the full 40th floor and boasting 9,920 square feet of space throughout. Aside from all of the designer details and amazing views of the city lights below, her new crib comes with four bedrooms and 6.5 bathrooms throughout. Plenty of room for the soon-to-be family of four. Another billionaire, Nick Molnar, co-founder of Afterpay, sold the residence to Rihanna and while he wanted 28 million dollars for it, she was able to negotiate a nice little discount. This could have worked out because the deal closed only one day before the new Los Angeles mansion tax came into play. And if they waited one more day, the former seller would have owed an additional 1.1 million dollars in taxes. Still, Nick lost out on $600,000, considering he bought the penthouse two years prior from friend star Matthew Perry. While Perry lived here for four years, he seriously customized the property, getting help from architect Scott Joyce as well as interior designer LM Pagano. Stepping into Rihanna's new luxury crib, a private elevator landing transports you directly to the home's entranceway where the grand living room has soaring ceilings and full walls of curvy glass showing views of the city skyline. Also here, there are dark hardwood floors underfoot that continue into the formal dining room. Nearby, the modern all-white kitchen has top-of-the-line appliances, double islands, snack bar style seating, and plenty of marble counters. Other stunning features in Rihanna's new family home include a plush soundproof theater with velvet couches and a cozy vibe, as well as a massive master suite that comes with not only a curved bedroom with walls of floor-to-ceiling glass, but also double walk-in closets, double ensuite bathrooms, and its very own private sitting lounge. Finally, the unit also justifies its hefty price tag with its not one, but four separate outdoor terraces, from which you can view the ocean, cat 
Catalina Island, downtown Los Angeles, the San Gabriel Mountains, and even Mount Baldy. Rihanna's Pantels also comes with a jaw-dropping monthly fee of $8,814, which gives the wealthy residents like her access to all of the amenities, like four parking spots in the underground, a 24-hour concierge, an outdoor swimming pool and gardens, an in-house restaurant, and much more. Other famous neighbors at the Century include the likes of reality stars Terry and Heather Dubrow, as well as Denzel Washington, and even Candy Spelling, who owns the famous two-level penthouse just above Riri's. While Rihanna also owns two next-door mansions in Beverly Hills, she reportedly rents them out, but let's check those out next. In December 2020, Rihanna purchased a home in Beverly Hills, more specifically in the Beverly Hills post office area, on the same star-studded and posh street as legends like Paul McCartney own properties. Her contemporary crib is nearly invisible from the street due to imposing privacy gates and hedges, and it has undergone massive renovations to blend both traditional and modern design elements. Meanwhile, inside the home features 7,628 square feet of space with five beds, and seven baths throughout. The home was built in the 1930s, but it had been completely torn down and rebuilt in recent years, making the new style very modern. Curved stairs out front lead you to the house's exterior, which these days features white paint with a black metal roof and trim. Interiors resemble a modern farmhouse design with French white oak hardwood floors and an open plan layout. There's a glass front door, which opens to the entryway where there's a giant black bull sculpture, and this area overlooks the center of the home, an open air courtyard with terrace, swimming pool, spa, and fire pit. Most of the lower level in this home surrounds the courtyard, which is accessible through walls of glass sliders. One of the living areas has white walls and a floor to ceiling black marble fireplace. Another, also with fireplace, is fitted with shades of gray from the walls to the bookcases and even the wet bar. Rihanna's kitchen in this residence has plenty of space to cook up a meal or entertain since it's bright and airy and features gold hardware, two white marble islands, and access to another slim terrace. Not to mention a cozy breakfast nook here was made glamorous with black leather seats. The master suite has tropical vacation vibes and looks like it's straight out of a resort. Also including a custom closet with black cabinets, while the ensuite bath opens up to an outdoor lounge area too. Also on the upper level of the home, you'll find a home gym with full wall of windows overlooking the central courtyard as well as the guest and family bedrooms. Throughout the home, there are plenty of open spaces to socialize, such as an intimate lounge area, a luxury wet bar, and the alfresco courtyard. The half acre property is on a slope overlooking the canyon, but the courtyard was a creative way to get the most out of the space. And because of its position on the hill, the entire property is surrounded by tall walls for extra security. Then, in April 2021, it was reported that Rihanna added onto that property and bought the house next door for $10 million. This home was never on the open market, but the gated property includes a large home. Originally built in the late 30s, spanning 3,000 to 500 square feet of space with four beds and 4.5 baths. The Tudor style home is designed with the most mostly traditional vibe, offering up formal living and dining areas along with an eat-in kitchen on the main floor, which opens up to the family room. There are also some cozy fireplaces throughout the home too. That family room has glass sliders out to the backyard while the upstairs master suite boasts its own private balcony. While the home may look a little bit basic for Rihanna and ASAP Rocky, since they likely rented out to tenants, it was an investment. Now they own over an acre of land total with both of these Beverly Hills post office properties combined, as well as over 11,000 square feet of living space between them, two pools, and tons of parking. Out back, there's a brick patio with room for eating in the fresh air, as well as a built-in barbecue and oversized swimming pool, while on top of the garage, you'll find a separate guest house with full bedroom suite. Now that we've checked out the homes of Rihanna, including her latest Century City purchase, that's gonna bring this house tour to a close. Before you go, answer this question for me. 
Would you prefer living high up in a penthouse or in a private home with a big yard? Let me know in the comments below. For me, I'm gonna pick the yard and full on house every time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer, and if you would like to check out another tour before you go, then don't go away, cause next, I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer, and if you'd like to check out another tour before you go, then don't go away, cause next, we're looking at the homes of Nicki Minaj. Bye. Nicki Minaj has always been a celebrity who keeps where she lives under pretty tight wraps. While she may have simply done that because she loves her privacy, it could also be because she's always been renting and had yet to find her dream home to purchase. While Nicki's Los Angeles rental mansions were as big and bad as you'd expect from the rapper, it seems that she finally pulled the trigger, purchasing a property to call home at the end of 2022. Her crib was newly built last year and it didn't even have a chance to hit the market before Nicki snagged it for 19.5 million dollars. Located in the guard-gated Hidden Hills community, her modern farmhouse spans a reported 12,000 square feet of space that's full to the brim with luxury amenities. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. After years of leasing lavish mansions, Nicki Minaj has purchased a home of her own. In December 2022, the rapper paid $19.5 million for a newly built modern farmhouse estate located in the coveted and guard-gated community of Hidden Hills, Los Angeles. This neighborhood is well known for its abundance of celebrity residents, namely a lot of the Kardashian-Jenner clan, but also the likes of Madonna. Donna, Jessica Simpson, Will and Jada Smith, Lori Lawlin, Sylvester Stallone, and most of the LA Rams current roster. Safe to say Nikki will fit right in with this level of celebrity. Hidden Hills is set into the Santa Monica Mountains right next to Calabasas where Nikki has been living for the last little while in a hilltop mansion she rented alongside her husband Kenneth Petty and their son. Nikki's new home was built in 2022 by a local developer and clocks in at 11,820 square feet of space with eight bedrooms and 10 baths throughout. Since the sprawling, trendy farmhouse mansion was never officially on the market and Nikki snatched it up quickly before it could list, photos and details of the premises are hard to come by. However, we do know some major features of the place and we can see the style and stunning exteriors. Outside, Nikki's new mansion sits on a lot spanning just over an acre of land and out in the backyard, you'll find a separate full guest house and a poolside cabana. Of course, there's no need for a poolside cabana without a pool. So there's also a gorgeous saltwater swimming pool with spa and even a Baja shelf to sunbathe easily. When it comes time to entertain, Nikki's mansion is perfect for the job, considering that aside from the indoor common spaces, there are also a handful of patios and terraces branching off from the main house. On the grounds, where there are no amenities, there's plenty of grassy lawns and eye-pleasing landscaping surrounding them. And other features we do know about include a three-car garage and inside the estate boasts expansive walls of glass on the main level. Think pocketing glass doors that open to reveal the seamless indoor-outdoor vibe. Meanwhile, Nikki's impressive master suite also offers a private balcony overlooking the entire backyard. The former laid-back country community full of horse ranches that is Hidden Hills is now a magnet for the uber-wealthy and Hollywood royalty looking for residential solitude. With Nikki's clear love for keeping her home life as private as possible, it seems that she'll fit in here just fine. Nikki is also a fan of massive homes, and we can see that in the string of rentals that she's lived in over the years, which closely resemble palaces when looking at the size. With her husband Kenneth and their son, word is that Nikki has been currently living in a rental mansion in a gated Calabasas community. What we know about this home is that it was built in the 1990s and follows a Mediterranean style. Inside, there are marble floors, six bedrooms, nine bathrooms, and over 10,000 square feet of living space. She has shown glimpses inside from time to time, such as this one, posing in the home's grand entrance hall that often featured as the backdrop to her Instagram photos. It has a set of wooden double doors with carved glass panels on the side and marble floors underfoot. Then sharing a look into her kitchen, we could see Nikki in front of a large glass fronted cabinet displaying a selection of plates and china. Fans even got a peek inside Nikki's living room at Christmas time and this space 
space boasts high ceilings and large windows overlooking the garden. The couple has a comfy window seat here to take advantage of the view and have minimalistic decor with white walls and the same half wall paneling as seen in the kitchen. As you would expect, the grounds here also boast a swimming pool lined with sun loungers and with amazing city views. However, this is far from the only home Nikki has lived in. After years of renting huge homes scattered across the LA area, from Beverly Hills to Malibu, Nikki did finally put down some roots. But let's look at some of her formal rental homes that we know about. After overcoming a difficult upbringing and establishing herself as one of hip hop's biggest acts, by 2016, Nicki Minaj was about as successful as you could be. In August of that year, she and her then boyfriend Meek Mill decided to play house by moving into a gorgeous Beverly Hills mansion, paying around $35,000 a month in rent. This gigantic home was built in 2008 and was constructed on the site of old Blue Eyes Frank Sinatra's former residence. Today, this home features over 10,000 square feet of space and this honey colored chateau is prominently perched on top of an embankment overlooking the gorgeous Beverly Hills. Of course, it boasts some amazing panoramic views, not to mention things like a five car garage, perfect for housing Nikki's luxury wheels at the time. The overall aesthetic of this place is sure to impress. It offered romantic architecture and perfect landscape, giving it a Mediterranean vibe like many of the best California mansions. And moving to the inside, Nikki's former home featured eight bedrooms, all of which were extravagantly spacious and bright. The master suite even came complete with his and hers bathrooms, as well as its very own private terrace. The accompanying walk-in closet here was so enormous that you simply needed to see it to believe it. Meanwhile, terms like sleek and modern only began to describe this mega mansion's incredible kitchen that featured built-in cabinets alongside a movable ladder for those hard to reach shelves. Bonuses like that would be perfect for things like organization. And also on the property, there's a guest house with a further two bedrooms and a shared bathroom that can be accessed through either a separate individual entrance or from a balcony on the second floor. And did I mention that out back, there's a sprawling lawn alongside an exquisitely designed pool and spa combo and a built-in barbecue pit? Yep, all in all, this place looks like at one time it was Nikki's own private slice of heaven. Once her relationship with Meek Mill came to an end, Nikki began dating her eventual husband, Kenneth Petty. Now, most of you probably know Petty best for the wrong reasons. You know what I'm talking about. Which has seemed to haunt him even once he moved to California to be with Nikki. In order to avoid a lengthy jail sentence of around 10 years, Kenneth eventually registered his new address. And guess what? This home that he reportedly shared with Nikki was every bit as impressive as her old one. Located in the Los Angeles neighborhood, neighborhood known as the Flats, which is in within walking distance of Nikki's old stomping grounds of Beverly Hills, this $10 million home featured six bedrooms, eight bathrooms, and a total of around 7,000 square feet of living space. So the smallest home by far that we know of. Anyways, the bright and dramatic interior featured some truly stunning scale and volume. We're talking 14 foot ceilings, 10 foot tall doors, not to mention walls made out of windows and a ton of other details that give the home a unique look and feel but I wouldn't expect anything less grand from Nikki. Upstairs, Nikki's master suite not only had a luxurious bath with dual amenities and two giant walk-in closets, but it's also got its very own auxiliary office space as well. And the second bedroom suite upstairs is almost as big as the first. So how do you choose which to settle into? The mansion also boasts a spectacular living room with built-in fireplace and skylight overhead, along with an unbelievable formal dining room. The open plan family room flowed into a casual eating area and through glass out to the terrace, while there's also another wall with fireplace here. This space and the attached kitchen came with the perfect indoor-outdoor flow, leading the way to the massive and totally private sun-filled backyard. The kitchen was kept a bit simple but still boasted stainless steel appliances and there was a gorgeous sunny breakfast nook with walls of glass that take in the view of the pool. Out back, there's that stunning pool and spa combo with with a whole bunch of spaces for entertaining as well. Finally, there's also a separate guest house nearby with its very own gym. Well, after seeing what we could about Nikki's new home and what's reportedly her first real property purchase, that's gonna wrap up today's house tour. Thanks so much for tuning in. And before you leave, answer this question for me. 
if you were a multimillionaire, would you choose to buy and invest in properties rather than leasing a home, even if you didn't find any you loved? Let me know in the comments if you would wait it out like Nikki for your dream home or see your property purchases as investments along the way. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications to make sure you never miss a drop. I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to talk. And if you'd like to check out another tour before you're finished, then stay tuned for this one. Here we look inside another famous female rapper's home base. I think you know her, Cardi B. I'll see you all next time. Bye.